Oh, hi. Uh, I didn't know if you would be home anytime soon. Ugh, I hope you don't mind. I, um, may have borrowed your shower and also your shirt. <laughs> I mean, you can probably tell it's yours. It definitely doesn't fit me. It's a little bit large, but it's comfortable. And, ugh, I mean, after the day I've had, I just... I really hope you don't mind me coming in unannounced. I would have messaged you, but my phone died. So that's the first awful thing that happened. And then I got caught out in that rainstorm. You didn't get caught in it, did you? It was awful. And the weather said it was going to be completely clear today, so of course I was entirely unprepared. And the shirt I was wearing was just, you know, getting a bit see-through in the rain, and I was not having it. So, I rushed to the closest place around, which happened to be yours. So, yeah, I'm really sorry. I remembered that you had that spare key under the flower pot on the windowsill, so I just grabbed it and let myself in. You're not too upset, right? <sighs> I'm glad you don't mind. I mean... At least it's an excuse for us to see each other. I feel like with work and school, it's just... Ugh, we haven't gotten any time to hang out. So, surprise, I guess. I hope you don't mind me borrowing your shirt while my stuff dries. I just hung it up in your shower. What? No, no, I couldn't ask that of you. It, it's okay. You, you really don't have to throw your stuff in the washing machine just to make a load for me. Like, it's okay. <laughs> well, if you insist on cleaning my stuff, I really won't complain. It would be nice to have some fresh, clean clothes after all. Something that's been actually put through a dryer instead of just let to drip dry in the shower. <laughs> well, I mean, I am already kind of wandering around your house half-naked, so maybe there's not much more I should be worried about, but is it okay if I grab something to eat from your fridge? I also left my wallet back at my place, so yet another awful thing that happened to me. And I had to find out the most embarrassing way. I'd already placed an order at the local cafe, and then when I go to reach for my money... Surprise, nothing there. Luckily for me, there is this old lady behind me who paid for my stuff and told me it was alright, but I still feel really bad. Like, if I see her again, I'm just probably gonna hand her a $20 bill and hope that she forgets that she ever met me. <sighs> I'm so bad with people, I just... I froze up as soon as I realized I didn't have any money on me, and... I didn't know what to do. I just was stammering, like, I, I forgot. I forgot my- I f and the lady behind the counter was just blinking, staring blankly at me, and... God, if only you'd been there. When you're around, I feel like it's just so much easier for me to think. Which, I know, is probably weird, but... Well, when you spend so much time with someone when you're younger, I guess their presence just kind of becomes comforting. So enough of my deranged rambling. How's your day been? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Must be good to be home then. Sometimes all we need is to sit back and do nothing for a while. An hour, two hours, two days. <sighs> I could definitely use a bit of a rest. I'm happy to borrow your couch if you're uh, able to lend it to me. Though I'm really not picky. A blanket and a pillow on the ground would work just fine too. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that your guest room's all set up. And I would really appreciate being able to borrow it. Thank you so much. 
So about that food. Really? You got some oven lasagna? Oh, you know that's my favorite. <laughs> okay. I'll um, fill up your kettle and maybe we can have some instant coffee. Just sit down and chat for a bit. While the oven's preheating, at least. Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I just can't tell you how grateful I am that, well, first of all, you trusted me enough to tell me where your spare key was in the first place. And second of all, I know that I'm able to come here and not face any judgment for wearing basically nothing but a pair of your boxers and shirt. It's just, I'm so glad we have this kind of relationship where we're comfortable around each other. How have you been lately overall? And I don't mean like all the stupid little things that have been going on. I mean like, how have you been feeling? Have you been tired a lot? Do you find yourself worrying more than usual? Just... I want to hear all that stuff. The things that fill your head during the day. Hmm. Mm, I know what you mean. Yeah? I can imagine that's pretty exhausting. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Hey, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. It's all right. Well, of course, I, I wouldn't judge you no matter what, so if you need someone to tell, I'm right here. And I always would be. Feel free to call me anytime. I actually have it so that most of my other contacts are muted on my phone, but if you ever text me or call me, it goes through right away. It alerts me with this loud beeping noise. <laughs> Same with my mom, but that's for different reasons. Oh, well, of course I trust you, too. If there's anything I want to tell you, I'll tell you. Within reason, obviously. You don't need to know all of the little details of my life. No, no, no. I mean things like how my last trip to the bathroom went. <laughs> No, I wouldn't judge you if you decided to tell me about that. Well, maybe I'd judge you a little bit, but... I'm just kidding. Seriously, if you needed someone to tell about your latest bowel movement, sure. Go ahead. I might make a face, but I'll listen. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you don't feel awkward that I'm just sitting here in your shirt. I would have borrowed a pair of your pants as well, but I thought I was already pushing it. Unless you'd prefer it if I was wearing pants. I don't mind that either. Just a bit of a muggy day, so... Oh yeah, I'm comfortable like this. Your clothes smell nice, so... <sighs> Sorry, I hope that wasn't a weird thing to say. It's just when we were younger, we used to have those sleepovers, right? In that tent in your backyard. Oh, I love those. And we'd use those blankets from your room, and they were pulled right off of your bed, so... They smell just like you. 
and I remember snuggling them close, listening to the sounds, and just thinking about how peaceful it all was. So I have a lot of really fond memories of this smell. That, and you're one of my favorite people, so the fact that it smells like you, that's just good overall. Hey, um, this might be a weird question, but do you ever have dreams about me? It doesn't have to be, like, anything in particular, but, like, a dream where we're hanging out or I'm just there somewhere. Mm, really? I have dreams about you all the time. I feel like whenever I can remember dreams really clearly, you're almost always there. Doesn't matter what the dream was about, you'll be around. So I was just wondering. You know how I am with supernatural stuff, so I was wondering if maybe we had like some psychic connection and we were showing up in each other's dreams. I don't know, it probably doesn't mean anything. I guess it just shows that you're on my mind. <laughs> hmm. I love the French vanilla instant coffee. I'm glad you still buy this stuff. <laughs> Thanks. You know, you're so sweet. Just overall. I'm honestly surprised you're still single. And I'm being genuine. Like, you're one of the greatest people I know. And it would just be... I don't know. If anyone knew you as well as I did, I feel like they'd fall in love with you. <laughs> well, I mean... I, I meant what I said. So what if I love you? We've been friends for ages. Of course I love you. Have I fallen in love with you? Uh, oh, come on. You can't ask me something like that. I guess I did say I'd tell you anything. Okay, fine. But... I don't want it to change anything about how we see each other. Yes, I am in love with you. And maybe that's why I dream about you all the time. And maybe that's why I gravitated towards your place when I was stuck in the rainstorm. But just so you know, I'm perfectly happy with the way things are. I wouldn't want you to feel obligated to try and return my feelings or anything. If all you need from me is to be your friend, then that's all I'll be. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess I'm mostly just surprised that I'm the only one, it seems at least. Or have you rejected other people who fell in love with you? Maybe there's someone you're already in love with and you, uh, just haven't told me about it yet. Oh, come on. I told you. And you have to admit, it's pretty ballsy for me to come out and admit that. Right to your face, even. 
You pretty much owe me. Come on, who is it? Oh, stop beating around the bush. Come on. Just tell me. I swear. I swear. I won't judge you. And you're not going to hurt my feelings. Like I said, you don't have to be in love with me, too. <sighs> you are? Oh, come on, don't pull my leg. Just... Really? <laughs> I don't want to believe it because I spent so much time hyping myself up and saying, Hey, it's alright. They don't love you. It's okay. You'll survive. And now, here you are telling me this whole time you actually have loved me? Ugh. Come on. It's not fair. See what I mean? We haven't spent nearly enough time with each other lately. <sighs> Falling in love sucks. It really does feel like you're tumbling down a hill and you just can't stop no matter what. But moments like this make it all worth it. As soon as I put on your shirt, I... I knew that I didn't regret falling in love with you. Having you is just... Even as a friend, or just as someone I know, it means the world to me. Well, what do we do now? Do I still have to sleep in your guest room? <laughs> okay, I promise, no funny business. Really, I'll behave myself. But... If I'm being honest, and I have been all evening, the truth is a lot of my dreams involve us... just together, cuddling. And I would love to make that dream a reality. Oh, is that the oven? Oh, great, what a way to ruin the atmosphere. Though, I could really go for some lasagna right now. As long as we're sharing. Okay. I may have admitted I'm in love with you, but I haven't really said it properly, so... I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> 